guys, how you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. I'm going to start this video off by saying rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and his daughter who both died from a helicopter uh, accident today, uh, the 26th of January, 2020. He was a legend and he'll go down in the books as a legend for life. So rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and I uh, uh, hope the best uh, for his family and friends and all that that have to deal with all this. Now let's move on to what this video is about. We're going to do a movie review. A movie review, that's correct. I don't have my handy dandy trusty notebook in this review. It's just going to be quick. It's a quick movie. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to say about it. Just a couple thoughts, a couple opinions, and we're going to get through it. So, I'm reading off my screen behind here. The name of the movie is Island of Terror, and it came out in 1966. This is one of those sci-fi, horror-type flicks, black and white, um, one of those classic all-time kind of movies, you know, that, that you might see flicking around on TV late at night one night, and uh, it's it's in that it's in that category from the 60s all the way back to like the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. They had this uh, the certain way that they did their movies then, maybe not back as far as the 20s, but close. It really started in the 50s with more of the sci-fi uh, stuff, but uh, these movies have a strange charm. Uh, they are not as big budgeted. A lot of times the acting isn't as great as people want to make it out to be. Uh, things have come a long way since these you know, uh, old movies uh, were made. However, at the time, I can see that they probably left their mark, you know, for the time. You know, we're desensitized to everything now. Let's face it. So let me give you just a super duper quick outline of the story. Uh, an isolated remote island community is threatened by an attack by tentacled silica that liquefy and digest bone and tissue. Whatever word that is that they want to use there. They're, they look like shells with a tentacle that comes out. And basically, they supposedly eat a bone. That's human bone, animal bone, whatever bone they can get a hold of. Giggity. Now, let's go over some characters. We do have the late, great Peter... Cushing, 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 however you want to pronounce it, as Dr. Stanley. We have Edward Judd as Dr. West. We have Carol Gray as Tony Morrill. Boy, she looked good in this movie. Lord of mercy. Eddie Byrne or Byrne or whatever as Dr. Landers. Sam Kidd as Constable John Harris. And... A few other characters off in there. I'm not going to read them all. No need in all that mess. So, what are my thoughts on this movie? Well, let's get to it. Uh, the, um, the creatures that we're talking about here are very minimalistic for the time. Uh, they're... they're very slow. I mean, they move like snail speeds. I don't see what the real threat is. Um, if they would have done better with the creatures, uh, I believe that this movie would have been a little better than it was. And I realize it's, you know, it's dated. It came out in the 60s. But, uh, if they, matter of fact, this might be a good movie for a remake. I'm not usually big on remakes, 
but I do think these older movies uh, could benefit from being remade um, because like I said uh, the acting is sometimes a little bit either lackluster boring or really over the top um, the production you know is minimalistic a lot of times uh, uh, the scripts the the effects you know uh, everything about them is is really dated um, I don't even, but I don't really even mind the black and white, to be honest. I think these type of movies work really well as black and white. And I know that's probably strange and probably doesn't do well today. I know we do have a couple of recent movies that have been released in black and white. I, I believe that the, I believe being in black and white, just like photography, it just adds a sense of depth, uh, mystery. Uh, especially when you're really dealing with movies, you can really play with uh, the contrast and the and the way things are are done and and the feeling of it is more eerie, in my opinion. And th and that's how I feel about a lot of these old movies. Is even though they're kind of eh, borderline, eh, you know, uh, I think I think the black and white aspect of them bumps them up a little bit. And helps them with their charm and appeal and gives them that sense of, uh, as I like to say, mood and atmosphere. So I have to give that to this movie. Uh, really, my only issue with the movie are the, the alien, the monsters, the whatever you want to call them. <laughs> uh, that's really my only issue. Uh, just because they're so non-threatening, really, I mean... Yeah, they're hard to kill, uh, but at the same time, they move so slowly. It's like, and there's a couple of parts in there, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna give too much away. But let's face it, if you haven't seen it by now, eh, you know. But there's a couple of parts in there where you see the monster. I guess if you want to call it a monster, whatever, uh, is attacking or killing, you know, killing someone. And really, it's just a tentacle coming out, and it might wrap around their leg or whatever. And it's like, oh, my God, there's nothing we can do. It's got a hold of them. And the people will stand there and just watch the person die. It's like, really? And there's one instance uh, where a person is getting attacked, and they do do something. But otherwise, you see them just it's like you'll see a tentacle go, and then, oh my god, we're dead. There's nothing we can do. Anyway. Anyway. If you like these old movies like this, these old sci-fi horror type movies, I say give it a watch. You can find it on YouTube. That's where I found it. It was just uh, suggested to me. Or I think I'm subscribed to the channel. I don't remember. And they show a lot of old movies and a lot of old weird creature feature, old sci-fi kind of stuff like that. And you can find the craziest things online. And But it gives you a, a new outlook and a new, something new to look at other than all the bright, shiny stuff that we have today. Uh, I think these old movies like this really uh, have quite the appeal to them. Even though, like I said, they're not necessarily great. There is something about them, you know, that takes you back in time. So, that's really going to do it. I'm going to wrap it up there. There's not a whole lot to say. It's just one of those old sci-fi horror kind of creature movies that that I watched. And, and I wasn't going to even do a review on it, but I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. And I thought, man... I don't know, it's something about it that I want to put a video out. So there was something about it that I thought was worth making a video for. And uh, that Peter Cushing, or Cushing, whatever his last name is, uh, you'll, you'll even know him from Star Wars. Uh, he was the general or whatever the heck in Star Wars. But he's been in tons of these old movies. And uh, I know he's a beloved old character, you know, uh, old actor and... And uh, a lot of people seem to love him and all that. And uh, 
and he does good in here. The acting, the acting is decent. Um, nothing super over the top. Um, the set designs are okay. Everything's everything looks fine. I think it's shot pretty well. Um, overall, I, you know, I think it's a, a pretty well done, low budget movie for the time uh, that it was made. And uh, really, guys. You know, it's hard to put a score, a grade, uh, a rating on something like this because of that, because of when they were made and, and the kind of the genre that they're in and all that. It's kind of hard to to put a, a number on it. But I mean, if we want to do a do a rating, I'd go. I'd give it as much as a three out of five. You know. Uh, it, it's somewhat entertaining. The story's somewhat entertaining. Like I said, the only problem I have is with kind of the threat of the monster uh, thing. So, anyways, guys, that's my short, humble, quick, low, in-depth kind of look at uh, this movie. If you want to check it out, like I said, you can find it on YouTube. That's where I found it. It's called Island of Terror. It came out in 1966. Guys, I thank you for watching. Check out all my other videos. I got all kind of movie reviews that you can check out. I'm not a professional. Don't claim to be. Uh, it's just something I enjoy doing, just like anything else I do. It just gives me a way to vent and to be somewhat creative and do something. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get inspired. And don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Even watching an old movie with creatures that move at the pace of a snail that pose a huge threat to mankind. That's all you can say. Go watch that movie, guys. We'll see you later.